Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric Nam, and thank you so much for your continued uh, love and support of K-Pop Taebak Show. We appreciate you streaming it, downloading it, and subscribing. Um, it's been a great show. I've had a lot of fun with it, and it's not going anywhere. I just want to let you know that we're starting another show. Um, this comes from a want and a desire of mine to just talk to a lot of different people, not particularly K-pop artists or musicians or people in entertainment, just people who are doing interesting, cool things across all industries. Um, I think because I actually have a lot of friends in music, it will be pretty music heavy, but we definitely want to talk to politicians and world leaders and athletes and actors and uh, writers and whoever. So if you guys have people that you think would be really interesting to for me to talk to and to be on this new show, please send them our way. Um, send us topics, send us suggestions. And um, I also don't have a title for it. So if you guys have great titles or names for a new show, please go ahead and send it to us. In the meantime, we do want to go ahead and start you off with this little gem, this little nugget of uh, what's to come. Uh, as one of the episodes for this new series, I caught up with my good friend Alec Benjamin who was in Seoul for his first solo show here. Um, and hopefully it's the start of many more to come. So hope you guys enjoy this snippet and uh, look forward to a brand new show coming your way very, very soon. Have a great day, night, week, wherever you are and looking forward to all of your responses. Bye. I remember my low, my lowest point. Like I was never like destitute. Like oh, I'm not gonna be able to like feed myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like my, like there was food in the refrigerator. Right. So I'm not complaining. But I do remember one time I was playing at this. I'll say the name because I was so mad at them. I was playing at <laughs> Cantor's Deli. I would play like open mics too. Like yeah. I'd be like yo, just like whatever. Like open mics in L. A. Are like are like some. That's like can, I, I like can't curse. Right? Okay, I was you can about, curse. I don't I give like, a shit. Some crazy shit. Like, there's some like <laughs> like there's some like. Cr like in, a, in the best way possible, there's some crazy people, like, showing up to these open mics. Like, what do you mean in the way crazy? Like... Well, I mean, yeah, I was even, like, performing with homeless people, you know? Like, oh, like okay. and anyone can... Not that they're crazy or yeah, anything. Yeah, like, okay, like, yeah, don't misquote me on yeah, that. Yeah, but, yeah, like, yeah. but, like, all different types of people show up, you know? Like, it's anyone can play group. an open mic. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just, like... And also, just, like, you know, like, there was, like, this... There was, like, this 90-year-old lady who, like, raps, you know? It's, like, some... <laughs> it's, like... It's, like... It was awesome, but I remember one time like I was doing so I would in the morning I would go to I would like write a little bit, you know And then I would like do like a live broadcast on social media. Yeah, I would go to somebody's uh, concert I would sing online uh, And then I would go straight from there to an open mic So I was doing like three Man, things every day. You were hustling dude. Yeah, and it got really intense and I and I had I still have that mentality um, and so anyways, uh, I remember one time I'd never gotten really, I'd never gotten paid for a performance, but mm -hmm. at Cantor's, they were like, yo, like, we'll give you like a sandwich, like a meal <laughs> voucher, like if you, if you, if you play. And I was like, this is dope. Like, but this is the first time that my music oh, is going to feed me. You know what right. I mean? I was like, this is, this it's is It's meaningful. Cool. Right. Yeah. So I didn't eat lunch because I was like, yo, like I'm going to have a sandwich. Like it's right. going to be lit. Right. So I showed up before my performance and I was like, yo, like I have this meal ticket. Like, can I, they're like, you can only like get that after you play. And I was like, yeah, what? but I'm playing at like 10 p.m. Like, I'm really hungry now. And, and they were like, you can't, like, unless you haven't played. That's like, the craziest thing I've ever heard. So I put all my shit on the ground and I fucking cried. And I called my oh. mom. I was like, I can't even get a sandwich with oh, my music. Man. Like, this sucks. You know, I was like, this is the worst thing ever. I was like, I can't even, I can't even get a sandwich. And so... I, I, that like that stuff being so traumatic for me. I'm like, yo, like I'm I never want that to happen to me again awesome. um, To I guess like to kind of come out of the deep end a little bit. Um, let's talk about your show yesterday. So uh, Jimin from BTS mm -hmm. shows up um, as well and we were talking about and he's like a legit legit fan yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, <laughs> yeah. so I don't know. Did you see us when you were on stage? I, I, okay. I was a, I get like eye contact sometimes, like during a show makes me uncomfortable. So uh -huh. I'm like, I, I, I had a feeling that you guys were watching from up there, yeah. but I didn't want to look. Okay. <laughs> so, so I didn't, <laughs> so I didn't see. I was just like performing and then I would come like, so I would go to like, so I would like be looking at the side stage, but I kind of look down. I was like, even with, sometimes with fans, like in the crowd, I'll look at them and then I'll be like, uh oh, and then, <laughs> they have like a weird moment where right. they're like, is he looking at me? I'm not sure. This is weird. Right. <laughs> so I, I felt like you might be there, <laughs> but uh, I didn't look. We we were right there. We were like on top of you pretty much. Sick. Watching it. And uh, he, 
I didn't know he was such a fan. Like, but he's. You mentioned that he put you on his playlist. Yeah, one um, day I was in San Diego with my friend, and um, we. Uh, I woke up and my Twitter like exploded mm. and it's because uh, he updated his playlist on Spotify and there's 12 songs and like six or seven of them are my songs. That's crazy. Yeah, it was crazy, right? It was totally nuts. I was like, it's so crazy to have, um, you know, because we we, we come from d- different places yeah. and geographically we're yeah. so far apart. So yeah. um, just to know that my music um, reached um, him is pretty crazy, yeah. you know, especially because I remember like watching the the Billboard Awards when BTS was like first exploding and being right. like, oh, so these guys like pretty much run the internet, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, they own the internet. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it's nuts. Like their music and and what they do is is amazing. So I'm yeah. a fan as well. So for that to come full circle is really crazy. It was it was funny because he just kept sitting there and he was like, his voice is insane. Oh, his voice th- is insane. I was like, yeah, I know. He's oh, like, thanks. And then <laughs> for like an hour, just like his voice is insane. That's like pretty much all we kept saying to each oh, other. That's crazy. Thanks, man. Um, and uh, and then like afterwards, I, I, like as you guys were talking, I it was just funny to watch the interaction from from like the third party. It was just like right. both of you fully mo- mutually respect each other. There's clearly a language barrier. A little bit going yeah, yeah, on. A little bit. Um, I have to learn to speak some Korean then, you know? You might you just might have to move here for a little bit. And maybe. You know? Maybe yo, Seoul Seoul is really dope. It's really, really dope. You've been here for what, like thirty six hours? Yeah, hours and it's awesome. <laughs> like also like Korean barbecue is like my favorite food. So in LA, me and my friend Larson go to Korean barbecue at least like once a week. So yeah. like to be here and to have Korean barbecue in um, in Korea is like crazy.